when I was growing up in San Jose, I had a neighbor around the corner named Steve. Nice guy. We went to several grades together and played in Little League together and just a really fine kid. When we were in, we called junior high, middle school today, Steve started to seem to have some changes. He uh, seemed to be less um, attentive in school, started to grow his hair a lot longer, started to be kind of more on the loose in the evenings and hang out with different kids. And then it turned out about a year and a half later, he, as we heard, went to live with his dad. Turns out that Steve's parents got a divorce and his father moved up to Lake Tahoe. I want to draw your attention today to Luke chapter 11 and verse 17. Jesus said, a house divided amongst itself cannot stand, or a house divided falls. Maybe Jesus had in mind something that had happened in the Roman Empire the century before when Caesar Augustus and Anthony fought against each other, even though they were related by marriage, nearly divided the empire. Or when two of the Hasmonean or Maccabee family members divided amongst themselves and the Romans came in because of their division. Of course, that saying was famous because Abraham Lincoln used it when he was talking about slavery. He would say a house divided in itself cannot stand. We've known churches to divide. We've known, of course, houses to divide, families to divide. We've known companies to become divided. A house divided amongst itself cannot stand. It's a warning about the importance of unity. But the house Jesus is talking about is one that will not stand. It's the house of Satan. Someone notices he's casting out demons, and they claim he's doing it by the power of Beelzebul, the prince of the demons. But that can't be true. Satan would not cast out Satan because a house divided amongst itself will not stand. In the power of the Spirit and by the Word of God, we press forward in unity in the gospel because Satan's house will be crushed under the feet of Jesus. That's why we stay united, because that's a house we do not want to stand. We preserve unity at the same time. We watch the power of the Lord pressing forward to divide and ultimately crush Satan's house beneath the feet of Jesus. That's what the coming of the kingdom of God means. That's what the, the power of the gospel means. That's one house that should not stand. This is your daily devotional for Friday, uh, September 29th. I hope you're doing well. hope you're looking forward to our day of prayer tomorrow and you'll spend a good time with the Lord listening, reading the scriptures, praying for the things we suggested in the handout you received last Sunday morning. And what a wonderful time it can be. Fellowship with the Lord, but also watching in the future the things God will do in our midst. And let the Lord talk to you. Let Him talk to you about your own life and about your own spiritual growth. And, and we'll say, the Lord has done exceeding abundantly beyond all we could ask or think. God bless you as you serve Him, and God bless you in your day of prayer tomorrow.